Hey guys, welcome to Product Orders Point. Okay, so in this further tutorial, we're gonna learn how to show a notification in your further application. Okay, so as you can see my mobile screen, so there is a notification over here. So it has a title, a body description and an image uh, in our notification. Okay, so let's uh, start, go to our further project. Okay, so here I have already created a new Flutter project by name notification example and I have removed all the source code given by Flutter team and created my own st uh, stateful widget. So it has simply has a container for now. Okay, so let's begin with the tutorial. Okay, so I have found out a new Flutter uh, package called as awesome notification that helps us in showing notification in your Flutter application. So we will do use this of uh, this package uh, to show notification in our Flutter project. So just you need to uh, add this dependency in your Flutter project in uh, pop specification.yaml file under dependency after two space over here as you can see. Just add it and just hit the pop get button. Okay, so after adding that in your main.dat file, you need to import the package of some notification. Okay, so uh, this package must be initialized before starting your app over here. So for that, what we need to do is first of all, we need to make use of widget flutter binding dot initialize enable initialization this will help so uh, this will help you to initialize the our external libraries okay so after doing that you need to initialize your awesome notification awesome notifications dot initialize okay so here you need to pass some parameters Okay, so first thing is the icon. So for now, I will just keep the icon as null. If you want to uh, uh, give an icon to your app, you can just uh, create an image folder over here and you can give a path of it over here. Okay, so I will just uh, keep it null. So if you keep it null, it will just take the default image of your photo application. Okay, and here you need to create a channel notification channel okay so in notification channel there are some parameters that are required that is first one is the key key name and the key description okay so this uh, awesome notification uh, you can just uh, define your own channel means there are various properties that you can make use of for example a uh, place you can do it off on source enable vibration led light and there are many various features that we can do so i will just uh, make use of default color and the color i will set it to and the LED light color, colors dot white. So this LED light color is the light that uh, get visible, get on when the notification is received. And then you can just make use of uh, play sound. You can set it to true or false. And the sound source you can give. You can just give a URL of a sound source over here or you can just copy a sound source and paste it in your uh, uh, folder or your assets folder over here you can just create it and you can just give a path of your uh, as, uh, audio file over here so I will just remove it because I don't have any audio source for now ok and enable light I will just make it true Okay, so if you are using this, then you you must enable it first. Then you can use this. Okay, and then enable vibration to true. 
Okay, so this was the basic uh, initialization of your notification. Uh, so before uh, starting your app, you need to do it. Okay, so now here uh, I have a home page. So it for now it has a container. So I will just change it to scaffold widget. Uh, scaffold body tag center widget child uh, I will just give a button so that I can press on the button and show the notification ok and then uh, on press so this is the required property of this button so when the button is been pressed I need to call a method so here I will just create a void notify ok and in this notification uh, so over here uh, I must make use of awesome notification dot create notification so here are some required properties that you can you need to create notification content so this is the property that you need to pass so in this uh, widget you need to pass the content of your notification such as uh, title body image and everything ok so for that I will just first of all the required property is the id uh, this is the unique id that you need to pass you can just enter anything any number the channel key the channel key that we have created that is key 1 over here and then uh, you can just define our title this is notification title and the body Okay. this is body of notification ok so this will create a notification for us but this will not work un unless you do it as a synchronization and wait until the uh, notification is ready to be shown ok so just we will just run this project now let's check what happens ok so app has been installed in my device so i will just show you my device ok so when i press on this notification so you can see there is a notification and this is the notification title and this is the body ok so now if you want to add an image to this notification so what you need to do is you can you need to do make use of this notification picture property ok so here you can either use this uh, image path or simply add a url over here so I will just make use of a url ok so I need a image that has extension of image So let's check the image path yeah the png file so now i can use this so just paste it in this big image uh, property and then uh, you need to give define a size to this image so for that we will just make use of notification layout notification layout dot big picture yeah ok so now if I restart our app press on this so you can see the notification with my uh, de defined uh, image url ok so this was very simple simplest way to show a notification in your Twitter application so you can just create a timer for this uh, so that uh, this notification keeps on repeating after some time or some days uh, 
okay so for that we will do it so first of all i will just declare a time zone okay await and then awesome notification uh, get Oh, something it is I need to find wait notification get time zone identifier yeah okay so now your time zone will be in this variable and now you can use this so to use this uh, in your create notification after context here schedule you can just check the notification class for uh, any properties that you want to use so you can just use an action button or something so i'm making use of this now to set a timer so for here notification interval so interval i will just uh, set it to five seconds in the time zone the time zone that we have created we need to pass it over here and you can just uh, repeat it or you can just set it to false or you can set it to true if you don't want to repeat if you simply want to show the notification only once so now if i run this project means this file it will when i when i press on this button after five seconds of this after five seconds of this time zone our notification will be shown let's check it okay so first of all i need to remove this notification uh, if this is existing so this id is already exist so it will not show me the notification so i will just remove it and i will press on this button now so after five seconds it will be shown so you can see after 5 seconds of this time zone means current time is 4.15 so after 5 seconds of this time zone uh, the notification was been shown to the user ok so now when I press on this notification the same activity gets uh, means the app gets open again so if you want to uh, open some other page when the notification is been pressed so what you can do is you can just make use of notification no, no, awesome notification dot, uh, active stream dot listen ok so listen here it is a future event so over here you need to pass a variable you can just name it as received notification so it is showing me an error let me check the function expression cannot be named ok so here there is a opening bracket and this opening bracket should close over here yeah Okay, so in this uh, here this will listen to your action or a user action when the user press on this notification to open the app so here what I can do is I can just uh, make use of navigator navigator dot of context dot plus named you can just make use of push haya push named and the name i will just give a path of another page navigation page okay okay so here this is showing me an error so i can't use this so i will just move this to the notification on when the button is been pressed over here you can just paste it anywhere in this code so I will just so I here I have a context so I can just use it so I will just paste it over here and 
Now when the button is been pressed, the navigation page should get open. So we don't have a navigation page. Let's create it. Okay, so our navigation page is ready. So in your main.dat.pl, over here I will just create a root named root so that I can use it in my over here as this tag so it's navigation page on text and the page that we need to navigate the user okay so just import it yeah done and now i will just restart our app again okay so the app is getting installed okay so app got installed okay so when i press on this so i need to first remove the notification okay, so it is coming again Okay, so when I press on this, it should work. Yeah, so as you saw, when I press on this notification, so uh, the notification page got visible to the user. So this is repeating again and again because I have just uh, make it to repeat after some five seconds. So I will just make it false and restart it. Okay, so now when I press on this button, so after 5 seconds, you will show, see a notification over here. Okay, so now when I press on this notification, so you can see the notification page got visible to the user. So the user was directly navigated to the notification page. Okay, so that's all for this video tutorial. So I will just create a second part of this video tutorial uh, where I will just add a push notification from Firebase. So whenever the user push a notification from Firebase console, the app user should get a notified with a notification message. So that's all for this video tutorial. So please do subscribe Protocol as points. Thanks for watching.